Today I'm doing a review, another review on a uh, camera bag. This one is the Vivitar bag. Uh, I believe it was the SXX10 model. There's other ones. There's the 12, uh, 24. They all get bigger. Um, this is the smallest one. This, like I said, this is the 10. Very nice bag. Um, if, you, if you know Vivitar, they've been around for a long time. They uh, used to do lenses. I think they still do filters and such. But um, I got this bag because it's very small, as you can see right here. And when, normally when I go on a hike or something, uh, um, I carry my camera in my hand on the hike. And on my bag, I usually just have a couple lenses and water or something. So this one really worked out well. It's got uh, all the features you would in a big backpack. Um, as you can see right here, you put your tripod here. Uh, my tripod was a little big on here since this is a small bag, but it does hold it secure. Um, you've got room up top. Uh, you see here, you've got a rain fly. Um, also in the back you can take, see right here, take the straps. You do it one or two ways. You can do it as a backpack or you can slide this right back down in here and just make it a sling so it hides one of the uh, goes all the way through and it hides one of the padded uh, things, shoulder straps here so you could use it as a sling if you, if you like a sling better. Uh, nice handle here on top, uh, very secure. Uh, uh, it's got the side access and uh, also up top here whichever way you go. And it's just like a typical bag, it, you know, it's got all the foam inserts, you can adjust them how you need. Um, this is big enough here inside this, you either fit uh, your camera body and two small lenses, but like I said, I usually carry my camera body with me, it's not in the bag, so um, I put a, a telephoto, like a 70 to 300, and right now I've got a, a little 50 millimeter prime and a fish eye lens. Um, of course, it's got all the uh, extra little spaces here for batteries and such. So if you like something a little bit bigger, um, you've got more lenses. Like I said, this three, you probably put one on top, so you probably fit four lenses comfortably without a body or just uh, uh, two smaller lenses, and a camera body, and maybe one up top too, so three lenses and a camera body. But it's very, very small, very comfortable. Um, also, I forgot to mention, Another cool feature, just like uh, most of the bags that have come out recently, you've got a spot here for a small netbook or a tablet. Um, I, I did the, uh, I think the 10 inch I, iPad fit in there. Nice. I also buy seven. I have a seven inch uh, Asus uh, Nexus. It fit in here really well. It's nice and padded, so you don't have to worry about that. But great bag. Um, um, really recommend it if you need something a little bit bigger. Like I said, this is the 10, 10 model. There's a 12 and 22, 24, something like that. But uh, you can find them on B&H. Uh, I think I actually bought this one off of eBay because uh, for some reason B&H didn't have the, the 10, but uh, I think it might be discontinued. They only do the 12 now, which is slightly bigger than that. So you might want to look at that. But uh, very cool bag. Uh, if you like this review, check out some other reviews and subscribe. I'm doing a couple of videos today, so uh, take care.